Finally, drone footage revealed the construction on Saudi Arabia as the line actually started. The project has been heavily debated in recent months. Most said it's too gigantic to build, and some said Saudi Arabia is promising too much in very less time. But now that construction has actually began, how will it turn out? Could it will be the greatest mega project ever, or the line become a trillion dollar failure or eventually be abandoned? Let's find out. The line was first revealed in July 2021 by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and the exact plan was revealed in July 2022. This project immediately become viral with nearly 50 million YouTube views. Not because it's most insane mega project ever, but it also introduces humanity to the next level. He proposed a 170 kilometers long line with width of 200 meters and height of 500 meters. There will be no cars driven in this linear city and everything will be within a five minute walking distance. Residents can also travel from one end of this 170 kilometers long city to other within just 20 minutes. This city will entirely run on renewable energy generated by wind and solar farms. For water, city will use a carbon-free desalination plant, and this will make the line a zero-carbon city. Saudi Prince hopes to attack 9 million people to his line project, as well as creating 380,000 jobs within it. According to Saudi Crown Prince, the line will be completed in 2030. But the trailer leaves everyone with one question. Is this project really being built? Or it's just a marketing stunt to get international attention? However, three months after the trailer launched, everything changed. On October 19th, 2022 official drone footage site was released by Saudi Arabia. And this video surprised everyone. Foundation of the line is clearly visible in the video. Large amount of machines are digging the shape of the mega project. This shoot shows they have already gone to a long distance, almost reaching the mountains in the background. And in this time lapse, you can see hundreds of excavators are required to lay foundation of the line project. We believe the line is around this position. On Google Maps, there are multiple developments visible. There is a whole site for offices and camps, close to mountains. A Neom community with a football field, Neom Experience Center. Since these images are not up to date, there are a lot more by now. So now that construction has really started, how could it turn out? According to some experts, it's impossible to build this futuristic city with the technology we have today. The line project will face many challenges. We believe there are four possible scenarios that could happen with the line. The first scenario is that the project actually turns out like all the trailers we have seen by now. Saudi Arabia is making some incredible claims here stating that they can build a project of this magnitude that has no one seen before. But perhaps if the country puts all of his resources to its ambitious plans, it will succeed. However, this scenario appears to be quite unrealistic. Certain aspects of their plan, like a car-free city or using 100% renewable energy, are quite feasible. But when you consider the actual size of the line, it seems illogical to believe that this project will succeed. The line would be 500 meters tall, roughly the same height as One World Trade Center, and it took eight years to build it. While the linear city is essentially a 170 kilometer long skyscraper, which contains strip of nearly 2,000 World Trade Centers, and since there are two lines parallel to each other, so there are 4,000 World Trade Centers. Meaning the first scenario is unrealistic. However, the second scenario appears to be much more likely the line's construction will be halted within the next few months or years, and that the project will be repurposed, for example, if only one mile of the line is built and the project is halted. It could still be used as a fantastic tourist attraction. Instead of housing and offices, you could fill the line with hotels and recreational activities like amusement park or beaches. Saudi Arabia would retain its glory for constructing the line, and people would be introduced to a new way of life. This scenario is much better than the entire project getting abandoned and never used again. Speaking of which, that is scenario number three. Imagine construction on the line gets halted when a miles-long project already exists. What is Saudi Arabia supposed to do with it? They only really have one option. Leave it to rot. This seems to be a trend among mega-projects located in the Middle East. What happened to the Jeddah Tower as well as to the Dubai Creek Tower is very likely to happen to the line as well. 
All of these construction projects have in common that they are very ambitious, and something we have never seen before if they can't even make these skyscraper projects work. How on earth will they make a project about 100 times as big succeed? However, this scenario seems less likely to become reality, since the line has received international attention putting Saudi Arabia in the spotlight, if they fail to complete the project now, it will put the country to shame. Getting this mega project to completion is a phenomenal opportunity to get more tourists and investors to Saudi Arabia, but even if they don't make it happen entirely, there are still other scenarios that will save the project. That's the case for scenario number four because the line's massive scale appears unlikely to be built. What if the project is built on a smaller scale? We all know the line will be 170 kilometer long and 500 meters in height. But what if these dimensions changed? The city is divided into sections, each of which is only a five minute walk. Saudi Arabia could decide to stop construction after X number of sections, making the project much shorter, but still allowing it to exist. This is a better scenario than abandoning the project entirely or repurposing it. Another option would be to reduce the project's height, even if they went with 50% of its original height, it would still be a tall mega project roughly the same height as the Eiffel Tower. This would mean that fewer people will be able to move into the line reducing the population from 9 million to 1.3 million. However, this wouldn't be that big of an issue since Saudi Arabia could add more sections to the city if demand for it is high enough. So which of these scenarios will become reality is only something that time will be able to tell. So at the end, please do like the video and also consider a subscribe to our channel for more amazing future videos.